Hello everyone, it's Bob Chief Editor. How to compile project and module? First, I open the project to compile. Find Developer Tools, select the project, and click Compile Project. Here to enter name of software. Hit select icon button. I can select an icon for the software. Click modify settings. I can modify the more detailed information of software. Right clicking on the software, I can view this information in its attribute column. Here I select a form in project as main form. When I run the compiled software, the form will pop up first. Now I add license. Click the link. I can go to the developer website and get identify code of the software. When other users want to use your compiled software, they need your authorization for it. I will talk more about developer website in a new video. If I keep improving and updating my software, I'd better set version number of software for distinguishing versions. Here is license server. I need to use default server. Click browse. I can select a folder to save the compiled software. Folder my software in disk F, for example. To output a folder or to output a zip file, the compiled software contains lots of files. So if I output a folder, I need to create a folder for this software in advance. I mentioned in the video that Bot Chief Editor uses Core of Firefox by default. So now I need to find core version files of the browser. If I check this box, I will pack and copy those browser files to the same directory of the software. When I run the software, I don't need to download those files. If I don't check it when I run the software, those files will be downloaded to system disk automatically. If there is no plugin in my project, I'd better check this box. As every time the software starts, it will check the plugin updates. There will be characters like this in the lower right corner of the compiled software. Check to hide it or not. I can rename this folder. I can rename this executable program. Next, I need to click Compile. Now I'm going to check the software. Unzip this file first. I set this icon for it. Double click my project. There is only a blank form as I didn't add any controls on it. Next, it's about how to compile module. If I want to compile a few modules, click Compile Module. I can import modules like this. This module, for example, I can set a name for the module to show in the compiled program. And names for variables to show in the compiled program. I can compile multiple modules at the same time. 
there was names that when editing models may be not very clear to users so i can edit names of these variables better here here to select variables to show to users including global variables and return variables i select all variables here if i check this box Users can save the visible variables to a CSV file. Save settings. Open button and save as button mean to save and open new module and software settings. New settings and original settings are independent of each other. When I open new settings, module below is still the original module with original settings. So if I re-edit the module before compiling it, I should import that edited module and then compile it. Software settings are different. I don't need to re-edit it. Compiling a module is similar to compiling a project. But users need to use the provided form here. Select default style and style color. Now we try to compile a module. Software title. Software name. I still select my software in disk F. The same checkboxes. Click compile and select a folder to save software settings. Now I check the software. Unzip and open the file. Double click it. This is the provided form interface. The difference between compiled module and compiled project is that for compiled module, users run modules on provided forms. For compiled project, users run modules on their customized forms. Click the module. In this area, I need to set the initial value for the variables. Input new variable value here and click add. I can add more than one value. The value above will be used by the program randomly. I can set initial value for each variable. I can choose not to use proxy or use global proxy. I can also set up a separate proxy. If I add multiple proxies, I can loop to use them or use them randomly. Here to save return values in variables after module runs. And to select a path for return values. Debug mode means to show the form or not when the module is running. Multi thread run means to multi thread run the module. Here I can view variables visible to users. For logs, here is an action, task log. So logs refer to task log and will be displayed here. Now I switch to global settings. I can add global proxies here. Here I set the amount of thread that can run at the same time. Result refresh time means refresh rate of variable result displayed to users. Click here to select a capture service. The last step, save settings. Switch to start. Check one or more modules. I can run them by clicking global run. Click run status. 
I can view the status of all running threads. Click style, I can change the form style. I selected default form when compiling module. If I want to run a single module, check the module and click run. To set running times per day, running time of task. Here to set the number of times to rerun after running error. I can schedule the first running time here. That's all for compiling project and module. Thank you. See you next time.